Imagine a mountain that never stops moving, a landscape that grows, breathes, and transforms, not over centuries, but every single day. That's Mammoth Hot Springs, one of the most mysterious and dynamic places in Yellowstone National Park. Here, boiling water rises from the depths of the earth, meets ancient limestone, and creates something astonishing, a living sculpture made of stone, a place where heat and minerals turn the invisible forces of geology into art. Standing here, surrounded by steam and color, you can almost hear the earth whispering, reminding us that nothing in nature is static. Everything flows, everything changes. Mammoth Hot Springs lies at the northern edge of Yellowstone, just outside the great volcanic caldera. It's often called the gateway to the park, both for travelers and for the forces that shape it. Unlike many of Yellowstone's other geothermal features, Mammoth isn't made of volcanic rock. It's built on limestone, the remains of an ancient seabed that once covered this land millions of years ago. That limestone is the secret ingredient. When hot, mineral-rich water from deep below seeps upward and meets this rock, it dissolves it, then deposits it again at the surface, drop by drop, year after year, forming the brilliant white terraces that cascade down the hillside like frozen waterfalls. But these frozen waterfalls are far from still. They're alive, changing shape every moment, building new layers while old ones fade away. The story begins deep underground. Rain and snowmelt percolate through the soil, picking up carbon dioxide and turning slightly acidic. This acidic water dissolves the limestone beneath Yellowstone's northern hills, creating a cocktail of calcium and carbon. As the water descends, it encounters the heat of the magma system that fuels Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs. Now superheated, it begins its long journey back to the surface. When the pressure drops near the surface, the carbon dioxide escapes, and the dissolved calcium crystallizes out as travertine. That's the soft, white rock that builds mammoth's terraces. Unlike the slow-growing geyserite found elsewhere in the park, travertine forms fast, so fast that new terraces can appear within days, and entire hillsides can change in a single season. In fact, mammoth is one of the most active, fastest-growing thermal formations on Earth. It's geology in real time, nature's sculpture still wet from creation. Each terrace has its own personality. Names like Minerva, Pallet, Canary, Jupiter, poetic reflections of their shapes and hues. Minerva Terrace, once the crown jewel of Mammoth, flowed in sheets of white and gold until an underground shift silenced its spring. Today it stands still, pale and ghostly, while nearby Canary Spring bursts with color and life. The yellows, greens, and oranges that ripple across these terraces aren't minerals, they're living organisms. Tiny thermophilic bacteria and algae thrive in the hot water, painting the stone in every shade of fire and sunlight. Each color corresponds to a different temperature range, making Mammoth Hot Springs not only a geological wonder, but also a living ecosystem. Here, life and rock are partners, the living and the lifeless creating beauty together, each dependent on the other. Long before Yellowstone became a park, long before scientists studied its heat, the native peoples of this region already knew this place well. For the Crow, Shoshone, and other tribes, the steaming terraces were places of spiritual meaning, a connection between the underworld and the heavens. In the 1800s, fur trappers and explorers stumbled upon what they called the White Mountain. The name Mammoth came later, likely inspired by the sheer size of its formations. When Yellowstone was declared the world's first national park in 1872, Mammoth Hot Springs became the center of its administration, the seat of its protection. The U.S. Army built Fort Yellowstone here in the 1890s to defend the park from poachers and vandals. Its stone buildings still stand today, a testament to the era when soldiers were the first park rangers. For decades, this fort was the heart of Yellowstone, a place where human order tried to coexist with the untamed power of nature. <laughs>